The Judicula Rock may be the most significant archaeological find in North American history, yet archaeologists fail to realize what they have found. Now, the Judicula Rock may contain some of the most plasma petroglyphs in the densest area. And the reason I'm suggesting this is because of the dots. The dots on the rock. The rock doesn't look anything like this today. This is enhanced. But the facts are in. That the Judicula rock proves the Peratt theory of plasma petroglyphs. It contains the Jacob's Ladder. It contains the Squatter Man with dots. And the dots are pervasive. And in the paper published decades, two decades ago, characteristics for the occurrence of a high current Z-pinch aurora in recorded antiquity proves this. And a hundred years ago, a postcard was made for this rock and the keepers of the rock near Silva, North Carolina. Now, at first glance, many people think that this is a map or a description of the afterlife. And when you listen to some of the thought processes, your mind will be blown. Because if you know about the Pratt paper, and you just blow this up, you can clearly see that in this section, there are Jacob's ladders, and there are squatter men of all shapes and sizes. Look at the dots. And in the central portion up in the sky, it's all about dots and eyeballs. This is what we see in the Australian petroglyphs that are 20,000, 40,000 years old. Right here, these eyes. Followed down the spine of Jacob's Ladder into the plasma, the squatter man petroglyph with the dots and the head down into the tail. We even see some expressions of the ajiji or the duck heads. This isn't an unknown idea. This is a well-known idea. And we are having the first annual Plasma Petroglyph Conference in Ruidoso, New Mexico, on May 14th and 15th. Squatter Man 2022, the Plasma Petroglyph Tour. This is going to be the most exclusive personal tour that anyone could ask for. There's only 22 tickets left for the private tour. There's about 80 tickets left for the conference. So please get your tickets soon before they're gone. We'd love to see you in the Southern Desert and expand your mind. It will be amazing. Now back to the amazing Yaduka Rock. And this is what it actually looks like. It doesn't look like those pictures, but here you can clearly see a squatter man with wings. And a lot of these large straight grooves. It's my opinion that these people were smart and they wanted to keep the water off of this. And that's what many of these grooves are for. But I am a bore. The entirety of the panel is plasma petroglyphs, nothing more. Well, actually, there is a small outlier in the glyphs um, that suggest that this may be something more. And it's down in the bottom right portion of the panel. Let's see if we can get to that picture. Yeah, so there's actually here some Native American glyphs that are a little different. And, and I think that these lines are separating different portions of these glyphs. And some, think, some people think that this is the Four Seasons, but I'm not seeing this in this interpretation here. This is certainly an agglomeration of the most amazing plasma petroglyphs on Earth east of the Mississippi. Which goes to show you, this, this is a whole different group of cultures, completely divided from the West and the Southwest.
seeing the same things in the sky as predicted by Anthony Peratt in his paper, Characteristics for the Occurrence of a High Current Z Pinch Aurora as Recorded in Antiquity. Not the Thunderbolts Project. They just capitalized on this. And we love them. So join us at the Squatterman 2022 Plasma Petroglyph Tour if you're so inclined to have your mind blown in a personal tour to get to spaces that no human has seen, maybe just a dozen in the last 12,000 years. One of the most unique experiences in a lifetime is possible. And that is a boom to knowledge and experience. The entire expose on this rock we will publish tomorrow night on Magnetic Reversal News. So stay tuned. That's a boom. Be safe. We love you. Yeah.